That's a long story, <laughs> but if you want to know. Um, actually, I came to U.S. end of 2006 uh, on a Fulbright scholarship um, to do my master's in English um, at Binghamton University. You know where Binghamton is? Yes. Upstate New York. Yes. During that time, my um, my family's home was attacked in Baghdad, and they fled the violence to Jordan. Then uh, they, you know, resettled to us through United Nations and Jordan. And I graduated, and at the same time they came. So um, we thought like of staying here and, you know, starting a new life. in the world. So how was your relationship with your mother? It was the perfect relationship. Not only mother-daughter, I, I felt like she was my best friend. She was my sister since I didn't have any sister. You know when you don't have sisters, you get so close with your mother. We used to like always go and walk, you know, in the streets of Baghdad, go to the market together. And then when we went to Amman, Jordan, uh, we used to walk together on Swafi and Shmesani. And she called me before she came here. Oh, I always remember how we used to like walk together and shop together. And we'll have the same days when I come to Binghamton, New York. Actually, she came to visit me, uh, like when I was studying during my winter break, 2007. This was like the best days I ever had. Their dreams of becoming American citizens ended today in a blaze of gunfire. A gunman went on a rampage, opening fire on immigrants, taking the citizenship test in upstate New York in the city of Binghamton. The police there say he killed 13 people and wounded four others who are reported to be in critical condition. China has confirmed that four of its citizens are among the dead. A service is planned this afternoon for two of those victims. An Islamic group also says one of them was an Iraqi woman and a mother of three who came to the United States after surviving three car bombings in Iraq. Mother, I really love you. I miss you. And I'm sure you are in heaven now. Ban Salah is one of the many gathered to honor loved ones who were killed one year ago in the American Civic Association shooting. At the beginning of the ceremony, family members gathered at the site of where the tragedy took place. That day, like, our whole life and perspective changed. It's like, how can something like that happen after surviving all these wars in Iraq and after going through all this violence and trouble? So it's one of these things, like, they call it the ironic tragedy. It's a very small room compared to a class. 
small room, uh, or 13, 15 people, 13 students plus the teacher, maybe 15 people, say, well, uh, yeah. very small, everybody can move. Your mom? Huh? Your mom, she? Layla Khalil from Iraq. From? Iraq. You've heard of her? Huh? You've heard of her? <laughs> she always used to share her opinion, so of course, uh, she she used to like the snow, especially this kind of snow. So she's like she really feels optimistic when she sees you know snow like that. She thinks it's a sign of peace. She didn't really struggle. She actually liked Binghamton <laughs> when she came to visit. When then she went to Jordan, you know, they told her, oh, you look so refreshed and happy. I like, and she was like telling the cab driver, she went to visit me, like her daughter studying masters in um, US and New York. And the cab driver in Jordan tell, told her, oh, you're lucky you came from US. <laughs> yeah, so. This need like to be, you know, on the fire for some time. <laughs> 